Hello and welcome to this tutorial on mechanics, or should I say motion under constant acceleration, which is something that you will see both in Mechanics 1 at AS Math, but also uh, in AS Physics. So it's quite a useful thing to do if you want to do mechanics, say, further, but also if you're doing it in your A-levels, might be worth knowing. There are five equations that I'm going to go through. I'm not going to go and go through the theory of how you get to each equation because I kind of think it's worthless. Uh, you, won't be asked, you won't be asked about it, so I'll go through a little bit of little bits and pieces, but I don't think that it's hugely important. But the five equations definitely are. They are S equals half U plus VT v equals u plus a t v squared equals u squared plus 2 a s s equals v t minus half a t squared and s equals u t plus half a t squared those are the five equations you need to know hopefully you can see them fairly clearly on the video um, and these are the, basically the fundamental principles of them. So we're going to take a question and we're going to see how it goes. Right then, a c we're going to say a car accelerates accelerates constantly, effectively from 10 meters a second to 20 meters a second 500 meters find acceleration there's two parts but we'll do the first one find acceleration now the first way you're going to do is you've got to work out which equation to use and the only way of knowing which equation to use is if you work out what variables you do have and which ones you don't. So what you normally do is you start by writing S U V A T. Suva. And S is distance, U is initial velocity, V is velocity, A is acceleration and T is time. Sorry I should have explained that before but it will be explained again in the future and on future videos. So S is distance. Do we have distance? Well yes we do. It's 500 meters so we can write that in. Do we have initial velocity? Yes, we do. It's 10 meters a second, so we can write in 10. Do we have final velocity, or velocity it goes at? Yes, we've got 20. Do we have acceleration? No, we need to find it. Do we have time? No, we don't. But time is kind of irrelevant. Therefore, we know the equation we need to use is v squared equals u squared plus 2as. As we can use v, u, and s, and we need to find a. So, let's start. Substitute them all in. 20 squared equals 10 squared plus 2 times 500 times A. So, 400 equals 100 uh, plus 1000 A. 300 equals 1000 A. A equals 0.3 meters to seconds squared less to the minus two. Now that is a good that is a perfect example of how you use these values in the equation to work out another value, which is the kind of thing you'll be expected to do. Now I'm just going to go through the second part and then that will be all for this tutorial. So they want you to find the time. Now there are two ways of doing this. You could use your new acceleration value and you could plug that in as well and that gives you more choice of what equations to use. For example, you've got velocity, you've got um, initial velocity and now you've got acceleration. You could use V equals U plus AT. But ideally try and avoid using the answers you calculate. Now that's not a slight against anybody's mathematics but it might be wrong. And the last thing you'd want to do is use a wrong value in a calculation to get another wrong value. Especially as you don't need it in order to find the answer so try and avoid it but if you do if you're if you're very good and you're very confident then by all means but still be cautious nonetheless I mean if your time's a ridiculous number then you'll know fairly quickly but sometimes answers can be a bit deceiving anyway back on with the question 
So time, we gonna, I'm going to follow my own rules and I'm just going to use S, U and V because they're the only values we've actually been given. I'm not going to use the 0.3 because I don't think I should. So it, we're going to use S equals half U plus VT. So we know that it's 500 equals half of 10 plus 20 T. So it's 500 equals 15 T. So therefore T equals 500 over 15. T is 33, 33.3 seconds. So there you have it. This is how you use the SUVAC equations. I hope this was useful. I'll see you next time.